For any keen fly angler, opening day is the most anticipated day of the year. So it will surprise few that Anton and myself are heading out for three days. But our mindset is firmly on finding some solitude without the need for any hiking this time. You can look into the fire It won't rain, rain, rain tonight Look into the smoke, it's fine It may show us where to fly Well, the good thing about um, camping next to the road is you get a pillow to sleep on and a wee mattress. Fantastic. Well, looking forward to um, opening tomorrow morning. Hopefully the weather holds so we can get a couple of fish. Stay tuned. Ricky time. Bacon and eggs? Certainly will be. Typical opening morning mist. Not too cold though. So we just, just landed a nice little uh, a pretty wee two and a half pounder and Anton just found one right up and close in here. It's refused to dry so we're going to have a crack with a mint. The fact that we're not deep in the back country means it's a little warmer close to the road and the fish seem to be feeding well early on. Oh that's terrible. He's after, He's after it though. Can't see him there. Can you see the dry? It didn't, it didn't go. He's back where he was. Okay, we'll get this in the right spot. Yeah, it might help. That's a bit better. That's going to come through again. Come up. So I forget, buddy. Well done, mate. He tried to get right out of that bank, didn't he? That's 
while. Yeah, it was a bit. It was just creeping in an inch at a time, wasn't it? He shot forward though. I'm feeling this in my wrist. Um, early on, so that sort of oh. takes a little bit of the pressure off the day. Well, he's, he's hardly a, a huge fish, but it's a slight step up from the one I got. And um, things are looking up. Yeah. I'm just sliding my dude. On the board for the season. Good yeah. feeling. Monkeys off the back. A good cast too, that was nice. Yeah. Wasn't too bad in the end. We soon find another in an eye with a holding current to deal with. A fish in there that was um, just sitting in a soft sort of pocket, so it be challenging to get a decent draft, but we'll give it a crack. Well done, Mike. A couple of subtle twitches does the trick, with the fish moving forward to eat the nymph. He's got his work cut out. There's a few logs in this water. He's done well so far. He's pulled him away from most of the snags. Certainly going up in size anyway. Nice fish. Nice fish. Well, they're going up in size. They've gone from um, sort of two and a half pound to about yours is about four to about five and a half or six. Nice. Well, maybe the gods are smiling on me today um, because the state of that hook and I landed it with that. It literally fell out when it, when it got into the net. So. Um, that was point loaded right behind a tooth, so all the weight went on the point of the hook. And I had to put a lot of pressure on to keep him out of logs and stuff, and, and that was the result. Oh mate, that's good. You know, um, three short little pop casters and, and three fish, so doing pretty well. You know, you can only catch what's there, and we've chosen this spot because opening's on a Saturday, and a lot of the places will be crazy with, with anglers. Um, and uh, just popped in last night and sort of set up a wee spot. And, um, yeah, third fish in a row on a little um, short cast. They're eating pretty well, so happy days. This, the better water's up ahead. You can cast with your right hand here too, Mike. Yeah. I'm going to try a dry fly or a dead head caddis. It hasn't risen or anything, but I always like to get them on the dry, so worth a crack.
Outstanding, Michael. Yeah, what's well, a nice one? Well, he wants to take me back to the car. Smart, less than a month after operation. No, he's not quite as big as I thought, but well done. Still, a fish is a fish is a fish. Yep. Pretty nice fish, eh? It, you know, nice solid condition. Yep. We've it knocked around with the ravages of, um, of winter. But um, nice opening day fish, pretty happy with it. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we might go back to the drawing board and have another look at the flies. Yeah. And then, uh, see if we can't find something he wants. I mean, it might be nymphing, eh? But it might be. It might be a bit Just go with something fucking basic, eh? Here's ear or something. It's a bit of colour. That's what I got the first one on. Fish in small water, part two. Yeah. Right there, here we go, nice. Nice work, buddy. Oh. Mm. <laughs> got left. Yep, well done, mate. Beautiful work. Really nice. Watch those rods as you go past. Yep, you get that. Yeah, yeah not nice work. Oh, yeah. After that pain in the ass from the other bloody fish, it's... Uh, <laughs> Must be a bit of a relief. Oh, for sure. Spend half an hour on that thing. Keep looking, 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 looking. That's, um, yeah. A little bit of redemption. Good battle, eh? Yeah, awesome. yeah, no, it was um, quite a technical little battle, that. To get them away from that stuff up the top there. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it's good to get a fish on the bank like that after a bit of frustration down lower, so. 
Yeah, away you go. Nice work, sir. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the generous offer of taking your fish. Yeah, is that, is that a beer on that one? Maybe. <laughs> that comment was prompted by the fact that we were going turn for turn, but we tend to go with what seems fair at the time. down in here feeding away nicely um, and we've got Mike who's just quietly getting into position down here crossing the river looks to be a quite quite a good fish nice coloration pretty good area eh yeah Orange rock where I'm pointing in it. Yes. Yeah. Three feet ahead to his nose. Three feet to his nose? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah. Leave that. Oh, well, he missed that. Okay. He missed that. Stop. Well, he missed that. Stop. Well, he came up. He went to eat it, nudged it with his nose, and didn't take it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so what's happened is the fish has come up, attempted to take the fly and turned it down at the last second, but rejected it and bumped it with its nose. So now we're going to add a little uh, nymph underneath. Hopefully this time we can snag him. Well, that's probably one of the nicest ones today. Um, they haven't really been eating a lot of uh, calories since um, over winter. Cause a, this guy's got a nice shoulder on him, just a little bit lacking in the belly, but that's a, it's a pretty nice fish still. We settle in for the evening with a new river in mind for tomorrow, yep. although the weather looks to be decidedly worse with wind and rain forecast. We'll deal with that tomorrow though, and for tonight we'll simply revel in what has been a fun day catching sighted trout, and that's hard to beat. Day two of our little opening trip, a couple of days away. The weather hasn't played ball, we've had a nice sleepy sort of rain and sunshine a couple of times. A howling headwind, a howling tailwind, and now it's sort of chilled a wee bit. And Anton's making his way up. We've found all the fish seem to be on the far side of the river. Unfortunately, a cold bleak day too is doing nothing to get the trout interested in feeding much, and those that we can find in the tough conditions initially wouldn't play ball. That one spooked away, but it looks like he's onto a new target.
my mate, day two, and uh, conditions, as you can see, aren't flash, so a bit of blind fishing. Um, this guy snuck into the shallows, and, and uh, old battler is probably a hell of a bigger fish, um, uh, probably last year, year before. Um, not maintaining that condition, so get him back pretty quick. We got sold to that massive head. He'd have probably been nine pound or more a couple of years ago. Well, that landed directly behind him. Directly behind him. Yeah, directly behind him by about uh, four or five feet. Oh, that's going to go over. I'm watching it. Left. Oh. Typical bloody miscommunication between guys. I mean, you look at this, eh? And um, Anton was going to be throwing one out for length outside him, and he actually ended up putting right over his nose, and the fish tried to take it and struck and felt nothing. Oh, mate, it's been a um, spectacularly difficult day, uh, second day of the season. Uh, weather's been absolutely all over the place. Just probed the casting because we couldn't see anything up the top of this run and come up this absolute stunner. Really beautiful fish. That's what it's all about right there. Really nice to find a couple of really beautifully conditioned fish like this. That's, that's quality, eh? Oh, put it back in, eh? been a long day buddy but it's been a pleasure sharing it with you. I just got, this is the most I've seen a fish feed yeah. this season. Well it's day three, we've had a full uninterrupted day on day one um, which produced a few fish. We had a, a tough day yesterday, we had every condition you could think of and we've got a situation here on this river where um, we've got a fish feeding out on up on the drop off Yeah. What did you fuck off to? Can you see it? Yeah, no, it's cool. Yeah, well done, mate. Hey, don't lose that fly of mine. <laughs> Good work, mate. We've got quite a new standard. Turn him, turn him the other way. You have to turn him the other way, I think. Yeah, well done. Yeah, nice work, mate. Oh, a lovely fish, yeah. Beautifully coloured, isn't it? Gotcha. One fucking prong. Hey. I think he's come free there, did he? No. Free. Come on, might be the dry on it. Let's go really low and see if you can pull it down and out of there. Come on, come off it. Can you the feel it? The dry has pulled on it. Oh, fuck. It's just one prong and it's stronger than the fucking. Yeah. Come on. It's a trouble in here, eh? Oh no, it's not the dry. Oh, I see it. Do you want me to go out and try and get him? Just He's hooked on it. Right on the end, I'll just loosen it and see if it'll. I could try and get out there and see if I can get him. Okay. He's stuck on. He's stuck on one piece. I think it's wrapped around it. If I go out there, he's probably going to go nuts. Yeah, I know. Well, we lose him. Was it your fly though, wasn't it? 
Yeah, that's that bloody flyer tied up, is it? And it's worked, and I've got one left. <laughs> I think I know the formula. Hang on, I'll, I'll go and try and get him, eh? Wow. Well, we managed to scare we him off. <laughs> nice, buddy. He was completely wrapped over that branch. That's amazing. Oh, not again, not again. Yeah. Oh, he will not give in, will he? He was hanging on that branch for three or four minutes. I think it was a loop of line caught over. Come on, good luck now, mate. Oh, we got his strength in this wrist. You probably have to be a little bit careful with him too now with all the chafing on that line. <laughs> yeah, well <done>. <laughs> Ooh, still going. <laughs> oh man, that was good. Woo! It was a bit of stuff, a bit of um, blackberry. The line got actually looped around it, and the fish was hanging off the back of it. Goodness me! So how the hell he um, he didn't break off? I don't oh, know. I'd accept that he was gonna break off. You know, a, a, about a minute after I'd realised that that was what happened. Yeah, because he was disappeared completely, and then all of a sudden he, he swung up on the surface, and that branch was bouncing around in front of him. <laughs> Well, that's a top bit of bloody um, angling, my friend. You <laughs> work hard, eh? That was really good, really good to watch. But um, exhausted for that. Yeah, look, it's it's um, it's just a beautiful fish, it really is. It's stunning. Oh, well, I can show the people what it looks like, and we'll get him back in. She's a tough little river and um, people have fished, looking at the ages of the prints, this is uh, October 3rd, so it looks like people have fished October 1st and 2nd in here. Yeah. Which you'd sort of expect. There's the a fair old highway, isn't there? Yeah. So the first two, one I've hooked briefly and, and you've had a really fussy one. Um, that's the third one we've found and, and, and finally got one to the next, so that's really cool. Yeah. Oh, and the sun's come out, so I'm um, looking forward to a bit more action up here. So. Yeah, well, I hope so. Yeah. It's a nice water up ahead. Seen a fish for a while, I'm just getting ready to pull out probably, and we found a nice fish moving around in the shallows here. So, I'm probably going to go and have a go, and I might even pop a, a dry. I've seen a few colobriscus nymphs here, so i might put a dry over them. He's fully out. Let's get him into position now. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's took a sharp turn to the left then, just yeah. to grab a nymph. Yeah. Probably needs a nymph, but we like to get him on dry. Nice. Um, thinking he's missed it. I held the strike too. You did. Let's 
get a uh, chunk of the bank fall off from above. This keeps the day interesting. Well, you see what he did? He um, he come up. He sat. He sat. He actually under it, hovered, and then he tilted back. He come up, and as he got there, I think that was a rejection. Even though the snow's come out and he closed it, what they often do is um, they start to take the fly and realise it's a mistake, and they just push water out, close the gills up, screw the water out forward, and, and push the fly out. And as I was getting ready to start lifting, giving it that pause, just stopped because he saw the fly just above his head. But in that, he still got squirrely, and um, that might be chance over. We'll give it a bit, few minutes and see what happens. This and that sum up fishing. <laughs> um, been a bit tough, and uh, people have been through, uh, and they're pretty squirrely, but you know, the guy on the surface, well, moving around, his tail was hitting the top. Such a good opportunity, and you know, even though he wasn't taking uh, dries, it was such a good opportunity to throw a dry, and for him to come up and either either he's missed it or rejected it, I don't know. Um, that's fishing, though. Makes you try harder next time. It, it's time to head out. We've just um, got. We're actually looking for a, a place to get out of here, but because there's a lot of shit to try and bash through. But can we say shit? We can say shit. And. Um, yeah, there's a fish down in here. Um, looks like he's he's feeding quite nicely, just sort of weaving around. Without setting the world on fire. And he's in there. So I'll try him with the dry, see if that works. Right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try one more. Crack some more leaves. You gave him the option. Oh. oh, up and down. Is he still there? Oh, he oh did circled. he come back on it? He circled right on it. No, I have to put a nymph under it. Uh, well, he, it actually, was... he actually rolled on the surface next to it, and I think he sort of eyeballed it, and then he swung downstream and circled it again, and he went back up to where he was. So. I think popping a wee nymph is the um, only logical way of violating a civil rights. <laughs> well, I'll try and chuck a little emerger on. He didn't. He looked dry, so I'll just pop one. No weight. We'll just sit down below, just below the film. So hopefully that little yellow posted fly will drop under and we'll be uh, into it. He's not a bad fish. He's not a bad fish. He's a bit better than we thought. Grab that net. Got a good shoulder on him. Take the dry, and as soon as I put a soft yeah. angle on, he takes it. Funny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think my um, surgeon would be very happy with me if he saw me doing that. I had um, reconstructive surgery on my left shoulder um, after having the right one done five months ago I had this one done uh, just a, a day or two over four weeks ago um, and I keep forgetting I needed them with my left hand and, oh, not a bad fish he, he, he's got a big shoulder on him a really big shoulder oh. well mate um, cheers for giving up a couple of turns after you got that one I, I think I've had three fish in a row, and I've had um, 
one take and reject or, or miss a dry and you know, which are nice, nice fish. We saw one right in an eye which is an absolutely stunning red looking fish which just disappeared pretty quick before I had a chance. Um, and then got this guy um, on a dry fly so pretty happy. Big shoulder on him, he's, he's seen his better days I think. Well, I think he was a great fisher a couple of years ago. But, um, good stuff. So I notice you've got a new bit of kit there, Mike. I have. I what have. is it? A uh, Scott nine foot six weight flex, new rod out. How did you find it today? Sensational, really good. Um, I'm a bit of a fast action junkie, but this guy's got it bends right throughout the blank. It's really smooth. Um, and I was a bit of a muppet with it earlier on. Um, probably treated it a bit like a fast action, but once you get this thing slow your casting stroke down it's just beautiful to use smooth and really accurate so you put a bit of hurt on that fish five minutes ago um it's quite impressed with it yeah yeah plenty of backbone good thing about being a six weight in a small river i suppose but um certainly plenty of feel too to play a fish and awesome for mending you know little mends and stuff i was really really impressed